Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome back. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And together we're Backyard Musings, broadcasting live Apple Valley, California. We are, if you can't tell from today's subjects, we are definitely the Science and Technology Channel. Yeah, so uh, this picture, um, it's those aren't two moons. Those are two suns way off in the distance, and that's a planet right there. And this planet is at a 90-degree angle to those suns. This is only the second instance that that's been found in our suns universe. Suns or stars? Stars, suns, whatever. Okay. So, you know what it reminded me when I first saw that picture is, you know, remember when you used to do the uh, the planetary uh, models hanging from the strings, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have the flashlights for the mm -hmm. sun or a, a light lamp or something. That's what that reminded me of. So it almost looks fake, but... We're well, going to talk about it. Yeah, the next graphic that you show you a little bit into the story, it's going to ex fully explain everything. Right. Astronomers using ESO's very large telescope, the mother of all telescopes, have discovered a truly bizarre planet, one that orbits two stars at a perfect 90 degree angle. This polar planet circles a rare eclipsing pair of brown dwarfs, making it the first confirmed world with this kind of alignment. And so if it's doing that, it's, I think it's almost always in sunlight, both sides, you know, if it's rotating around. Well, our planet rotates around. Yeah, but it but doesn't it have a star. It, it, it doesn't, doesn't have another star over here where we're going like this. Right. Or, or like this, you know. Right. Um, it was a surprising and accidental find, defying expectations and proving that planet formation in extreme orbital setups is not only possible, it's real. The study was published April 16th, 2025 in Science Advances. Would you like to know more? Let me advance the graphic here. Sorry, Scott. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There we go. So you can see it orbiting between the two. Looks like the infinity sign. Mm -hmm. uh, in recent years, scientists have found several planets orbiting two stars at once, similar to the fictional planet Tatooine from Star Wars. Yeah, put the that's what Anakin was. Yeah. Uh, typically, these planets orbit in the same plane as the stars themselves. While researchers have long suspected that planets could also form in perpendicular or polar orbits around binary stars, and have been even observed planet forming disks tilted this way, there had no, been no direct evidence of a planet on such an orbit until now. Quote, I am particularly excited to be involved in detecting credible evidence that this configuration exists, says Thomas Baycroft, uh, a Ph.D. student at the University of Birmingham, U.K., who led the study. Yeah, pretty Fast amazing. Study. Pretty yeah. cool. All of yeah. God's creations. This is a unique one. Yeah. The unprecedented exoplanet named 2M1510AB B, <laughs> orbits a pair of young brown dwarfs. Hmm. Objects bigger than gas giant planets, but too small to be proper stars. The two brown dwarfs produce eclipses of one another, as seen from Earth, making them part of what astronomers call an eclipsing binary. So that's from the view of Earth. We're not going to get in trouble for using the word dwarfs, are we? Uh, no. Okay. I don't know. Just want to make sure. I don't know. Okay. We'll now, find I'm, out, now, I'm, now I'm fretting. Now we'll find out. Leave your comments. This system is incredibly rare. It is only the second pair of eclipsing brown dwarfs known to date, and it contains the first exoplanet ever found on a path at right angles to the orbit of its two host stars. Okay, another quote. A planet, <coughs> bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Excuse me. <coughs> Four. Uh, one more. Quote. To take day off. A planet, you did five the other day. A planet orbiting not just a binary, but a binary brown dwarf. Oh, man, we're going to get in so much trouble. Uh, as well as being on a polar orbit is rather incredible and exciting, says co-author Omri Triot, a professor at the University of Rome. The team found this planet while uh, refining the orbital and physical parameters of the two brown dwarfs by collecting observations with the ultraviolet and visual a shell spectrograph instrument on ESO's VLT at Paranal Observatory in Chile. Totally cool. Yeah. Uh, the pair of brown dwarfs, known as 2M1510, were first detected in 2018 by Triad 
and others with a search for habitable planets eclipsing ultra cool <laughs> stars speculos another paranal paranal is that right paranal mm -hmm. facility okay that's yeah, really cool the astronomers observed the orbital path of the two stars in 2m1510 being uh, pushed and pulled in unusual ways. Normally you see a star like M14 or M12, but this is 2M because of the two stars. Okay. Yeah. And 1510, is that the number? Are they keeping track of the numbers of these 1, things? 1510 star that they probably wow. yeah, identified okay. and named. They've been busy. Uh, leading them to infer the existence of an exoplanet with a strange orbital angle. What do you mean infer? I thought we had evidence here. Well, we just saw the picture. That was an artist's representation, man. <laughs> Come on. Are we being sold a, ba a bag of wrong goods? Inferred? Inferred. Okay. Quote, we reviewed all possible scenarios, and the only one consistent with the data is if a planet is on a polar orbit about this binary, says Baycroft. So we need to get Voyager up there, take snaps and pictures. In the New Science Advances study, 2M1510 or 2M1510AB are the names given to the eclipsing binary of the two brown dwarfs. 2M150A and 2M150B, the same. Oh, that's the two. They've got A and B. Stars, yeah. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. The same system is known to have a third star orbiting oh. at large distance from the pair. Uh, which the study uh, authors called 2M1510C. Well, that makes sense. That's weird. Three stars like that? Like a trifecta? Yeah. Uh, the study shows this third star uh -huh. is too far away to cause the orbital disturbances. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Uh, pretty interesting. There it is. That was really interesting so when this I first is, saw that. So this, this uh, planet is tumbling. Instead of spinning, it's tumbling. Well, I, right? I'm sure the planet spins, but then it orbits, you know, this way, whereas the stars are over here, you know, and it's going like this in between them. It's getting, it's getting pulled by both gravities. And the and the star, the these stars are they're they're dwarfs, but they're not moving. They stay no, stationary. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I'm I think. In as a galaxy, stars, yeah, stars move in a galaxy because they're rotating. It's just they rotate different than planets. Planets are smaller. Got they don't have as much gravity. Okay. Like 10,000 years from now, you might see a, uh, a change in the position of the stars. Okay. It looks kind of like almost like a paperclip, too. Yeah. yeah. Paper really clips. cool. This is really interesting. Or not paperclips, but uh, safety pins. Oh, where's that? Oh, oh stand. Okay, here we go. All right, folks. Thanks for joining us. Take we'll care. catch you. Uh, we'll see you in the morning. In the morning. Yep. yep take care.